Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. We talk outdoors for 90 minutes every Saturday morning based out of ESPN 790 here in Memphis. The fastest 90 minutes and outdoor radio programming. And and, and this is the fourth Saturday, which uh, means that we have the, uh, I wish they were here. It's so much uh Nothing, nothing wrong with Shelby. You know, Shelby's cool, you know. but uh, Oh, she does a great job. Yeah, too. yeah. I mean, we couldn't do it if they were here. But Bill Cooksey from uh, Vanishing Paradise and, of course, our own uh, OLR pro staff, uh, fishing guru, uh, Ron Wong, as we call it, uh, Bonus <laughs> Good Wong. Good morning, yeah. everybody. Yeah, you know that voice. And, uh, hey, let's send out a shout-out today uh, for, to Connie Kwong. Man, she's been... She's taken thirty years with Peanut. How about that? You know we ought to. Boy, now that's that's a feat in itself. <laughs> it is. Hey, good, <laughs> congratulations, Connie Kwan. Okay, so uh, we can get that out of the way. And uh, I know you you guys. Uh, we we love to have Mark Copley on the line. You know, I I think I've I've, I've got all of Mark's uh, titles over the years, and I, it's a full page. You know, I'm trying to remember all of his different titles. Uh, most of the time, they won't fit on his shirt. But he's worked it out now. So, uh, director of pro staff and media relations for Lose and Strike King. Good morning, Mark Copley. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. How uh, is everybody? I'm sending sending my witches from deep in the heart of Texas. Oh well, that's good. You're not in you're not in South Carolina yet, then. Not yet, but uh, <laughs> it is official. I am headed that way. Okay, you have uh, found a place. Uh, uh, an abode over there, so to speak. We have so well. We've sold our house here, so we have to go somewhere. Oh, uh, right. Well, <laughs> wow. So, so well, well, you know, of course, everybody that's listened to this show over the set, last several months know that uh, the Strike King Warehouse, of course, is now up in Springfield, and so it bears empty out there. And and Mark and his family have who's grown up here went to the University of Memphis and. Uh, Worked in videos for a lot of different people and things along that line, is is moving as he says to Lexington, South Carolina, the new home there. But uh, Strike King, the name still goes, Lou still goes. And when I got the press release uh, about the Instagram TV series series, I wanted uh, Cooksey and Wong to be on to interpret whatever you tell me. Okay. <laughs> I mean, okay, all right, uh, but uh, well, yeah, you know, Ron's an internet sensation. He is, uh, and yeah, he's a legend in his own mind too. I know that. So, uh, let's, <laughs> let's, let's, well, not let's, uh, let's talk about this. And Bill, I know Bill is uh, tech savvy too, and Ron is tech savvy, and I'm just, I'm just savvy, you know. But just, uh, uh, Instagram, well, yeah, 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 the, the, the new series can't, you couldn't get more than sixty seconds on an, on a anything on instagram so, well, so it's kind of cool but we'll talk about it kings of bass life. kings of bass started back in uh early june a uh, guy at church told me sunday that he loved andy montgomery and uh, we were talking off the air about andy how funny he was and uh i read that release and andy even forgot that uh uh that the the, the camera guy uh and i can't think of his name right off the top of my head uh was he didn't even remember that uh that uh, Tyler Anderson was in the boat. Tyler. Yeah, so so talk about this series and Instagram TV and, and where do you, where's it where's it going? It's on Tuesday nights, right? I mean, uh, basically. Correct. Okay, talk about a new it. Episode, a new episode loads on, on Tuesday. We're going to have three episodes this year uh, with the coronavirus and, and travel bans and, and the tournaments being slowed down. We, were, uh, we weren't able to do a full uh, like we had wanted. Okay, uh, but we have packed a ton of information, of entertainment, and just plain old fun, and learning what it is to be a professional angler. And uh, Tyler Anderson follows around with Andy Montgomery, Mark Rose, Kevin Van Dam, Greg Hackney, and I think that's I think those are the ones that are covered. I, I may miss one, and if I do, that I'll. Sure, I'll hear well, about it from who well, I missed. But, well, I hope I hope uh, that uh, I hope that Tyler that uh, that uh, Tyler has his uh, his uh, aqua suit on and snorkel outfit if he's following Mark Rose because uh, Mark has now become an Olympic diver. 
Uh, that's the he is. Uh, that, that's yeah, the, he's taken the diving as a sport. And, yes, it, it, you know. He's, He's learned to hold his breath for four or five minutes. Yes, he has, or he's going to get a penalty. If uh, y'all seen that video, um, I have. Seen I have. It. I was, at, I the, I was there at the tournament. And, swimming, uh, dang it! Oh. Uh, I have get, <laughs> given him quite the hard time. <laughs> so I said, "What? What if that thing you thought was a fish was a big alligator snapping turtle or an alligator?" Uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, I didn't think about that. Well, it's it's pretty cool. But anyway, uh, getting back to the Instagram TV series. Uh, is is anybody else doing this? Is this something something really new? Because I I've never heard of an Instagram TV series. So, uh, talk well, about you it. know, people people have tried to take a look uh, at the life of professional anglers, but the, to to my knowledge, I don't know of anyone else who's done this as an Instagram series and done. Not that I know. You know, there's no time limit on it, so it's not like we have to follow a 30 minute time limit um uh, like we do on say the outdoor channel or, or some of those other channels like that yeah yeah so so we he, can go real deep and in depth and it's 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 really not only is it entertaining because you've got andy montgomery on there and you know andy <laughs> andy's so far south that sometimes we have to put subtitles up for him. <laughs> i was wondering if you have cue cards for andy that tyler's <laughs> holding them up in the boat there you know saying that's what you got to say andy you know the, those kind yeah. of things. We but, just we have to interpret what he says and then figure out what words to put up on the screen oh, so I'm people gonna, can understand. I'm gonna make but, sure, uh, I'm gonna make sure he gets a copy of this segment. Okay, so uh, absolutely. No, I'm not scared. But <laughs> but 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 uh, no, it's just it's really cool because it looks in. You know, everybody says, "Man, you fish for a living." Yeah, and th- that may be true, but it's just it. You get to see. What they do, I mean, they they spend their practice days are long, long days out yeah, of the water. Yeah, yeah. And it's you know a lot of times they don't even even cast. A lot of times they're just idling and looking and uh-huh. and trying to find things because the one thing you don't want to do is is uh, educate the fish that you're going to be going after to to try and win money. So uh, you know it's this is how these guys earn their money. They um, they're out there working to earn money, and it's it's just a really cool look to what goes on with them, but not only what they do on the water, but what they do on their off days. And yeah, that's, that's one of the unique uh, opportunities that MLF has provided to anglers is that there's off days. And so, uh, yeah, they need it's, those. They need it's those. just a really fresh new way of looking at things. And uh, the Kings of Bass, I guess you came up with the name or was it David May? I mean, who did the, who came up that with the name? Be, I got to give David May credit on okay. that. Okay. All right. David came up with them. I love that when you say kings of bass, you know, uh, and you've got some pretty good kings in there. You went through that list of uh, somebody named Kevin Van Dam. Uh, I mean, that's not somebody that only knows by his initials has got to be pretty good, you know. And uh, Greg, yeah, he's, he, he's kind of known. Yeah, th- is he camera shy? I mean, uh, you know, I mean, <laughs> he's got, just a little bit, you know. <laughs> and when you get down to it, you know, I've watched these golf tournaments the last couple of weeks with these mic'd. Uh, you know, and what they say and things along that line. So this is technically almost like that. I don't know. Uh, uh, it is. Uh, they're saying whatever, yeah. you know, they're saying, uh, and most of these guys are, they know they got an audience out there, and they're not trying to pop off or anything like that. It's spontaneous is the way I've heard it. And I know. It is. I will tell you this, Larry. Our guys, Yeah. what you see on tape, that's our guys. I mean, they're they're just being real. That's that's who they are. Their part true. It allows their true personality to come out. And for those that don't know Andy or Mark or or Greg or or Kevin, they are funny guys. I mean, they're very very funny guys. Without without being that's rehearsing. That, I mean, this is not uh, without, scripted. Exactly. It's not scripted. Uh, so the the length and and. and I, how long? How long do they normally last? I mean, how long? It's just you say unlimited. You know, sometimes I write stories, and uh, I put it on the internet, and they say, "Man, put all you want out there." I love the internet because you can write as long as you want. So, so we we talk. Well, the first thing you got to look at is is how long, is the attention span of of the viewer. <laughs> yeah, that's never true. Really yeah. Long. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I don't know so how it's it's just kind of a it's. We don't have a set length on it, but it's just kind of we get a feel for this. Is, it's it's about time to wrap it up because it's we've kind of covered that event. 
Okay, that's the Instagram TV series King of Bass, Kings of Bass, uh, Strike King, and of course Lose. And uh, we want to talk to uh, Mark. It's Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. We want to talk to uh, excuse me, Instagram TV. We want to talk to Mark about. Uh, Ron wants to know this too, and Bill does too. Uh, there's no ICAST this year, uh, so uh, we don't know what's coming and what's going and things along that. And this Ron won't be able to make that. Uh, four-hour drive to Orlando, you know, <laughs> that uh, that he does. Uh, but, uh, and I know he's devastated. He is, he is Ron's amazing that he's, he can do he, it He's hours. devastated because he can walk around and use three pairs of tennis shoes at ICAST. But uh, talk about Stri- Strike King and Lewis, what's, what's without having ICAST. Well, it's going to be different. Um, I do think that there's been a shift in the last couple of years and the fact that with everything that's available uh, on the Internet and, and through digital means and, and being able to get, you know, it used to be that's where the media came that's it. to be able to see the new product releases. And, yeah. and that's typically what ICAST is. It is. It's the release of new products for all of, us, all of us companies that are in the industry. That being said, new products are still coming. They're just going to be, there's going to be a virtual ICAST um, that uh, I think people can go to the ASA website uh or I believe it's ICAST.org, um, or you can just do a Google search for ICAST 2020. But there's going to be a virtual tour. New product releases are still going to go. Uh, we've got you know several on both the Lose and on the Strike King side. Okay. And uh, it's going it's going to go forward, and it's going to be really really cool. It's uh, you know we're excited. Uh, we don't have we're not it's not a huge, and I think that's typical of, of most companies this year. You're not going to see no. huge release product yeah. Yeah. just simply because no one knew uh, with the economy being shut down how it was going to affect things. That's right. I do think as a positive out of this, I think fishing has become more and more popular. License sales are up. Yes, they are. People are out. I've talked to several uh, of our pros whose family own uh, boat dealerships, and they're just about out of boats. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Which is a great thing. Well, we appreciate you, Mark, being with us uh, uh, on this Saturday morning. And uh, be safe down there in Texas. Uh, look forward to staying in touch with you when you when you head east. But uh, I know Ron will stay in touch with you and everything like that. But uh, really appreciate you, buddy. Going to miss you when you're gone. Well, but we'll stay in touch. Thank you. Uh, I, I'm going to miss you guys, too. And, uh, you know, like you said, I spent my whole life here. and. Uh, grown up here, I've traveled all over the world, but uh, Memphis has always been my home. So, and it's still we, my family, looks at it as a different, just a different adventure, and we're going to go in at full force. That's what it is, buddy. Thank you a whole Keep lot. Good. Okay, all right, Mark Copley, let's take a break. Be right back on Outdoors with Larry Ray. 